And hello once again. I am playing Texas with NT. I'm going to be starting one in single player. I have played by myself a little, but I'm starting a new game. Easy mode. Because I prefer easier. Gonna do that one. And for these, these are all things I could enable if I get a co any comments telling me to enable them. But for this one, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's start this. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Oh, by the way, there will be a, the occasional cuss word in this. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot bleep it out because I don't know how to yet. So, here is your warning. Those are alien devices. We'll see the aliens themselves when we go into an actual mission. This is just like pre <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but it's not. Like, uh, you gamers know what Hello, I'm about. Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Alright, here we go. Just remember what it was called. It's called a cutscene. Right, these are all different countries we can start out in. Each one has a continent bonus. Yes. I'm just gonna let you read through them all. The one I prefer is South America. 
<laughs> because autopsies and interrogations can take a little while. But if we do it instantly, that's instant results. So I'm going to do that one. Brazilian authorities have requested our help. So that's where we're going next. All right. We're doing a mission now. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Yes, sir, sir. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. I guess I'll put you... Wait, hold on, I should probably tell you everything. Basically, every soldier gets two actions per turn. As you can see by that little flag thing under his health bar. Moving into the blue costs one action. Moving into the yellow costs two. Shoot. Shooting... You have to have an action to shoot, and it will end your turn. Overwatch is the same thing. Shooting, wait, that's shooting at an alien. Overwatch will let him shoot at the first alien that moves within the area that he can see. But it's got a slight penalty to aim. I prefer going into Overwatch for the second action every turn. And then he can throw, soldiers can throw a grenade if they have one. And, and it does three damage, 100% chance to hit, unlike pretty much Moving everything out. else. Alien object in sight. Oh yes, meld is something that is very useful. Stored in these canisters right here in missions. Well, some missions. Not all of them have meld. By the way, these shields, these ones that are half full, are low cover. See if I, yeah, right here. Full shields are high cover. Here. I'm rolling. Low cover provides a small or maybe medium increase to defense. And high cover here provides a high increase On to it. defense. By the way, this thing is hunkered down. Soldiers can do it when they're in cover. And it basically makes them even harder to hit. On the move. Stepping off. I am double move was so I could get the meld because as you can see in the top right corner, it will self dis It's got two turns left. Basically, if I don't get by the time that timer runs out, it's dead. Well, it destroys itself. So I can't collect it. The meld is something that is very useful. Aye, aye, Commander. Still 
That's what it does when it self destructs. Okay. That symbol basically means open the door. Target acquired. You see those things? Those are called. Those are something called sectoids. They're my basic enemy. Three health. And. Pretty easy to kill. I could probably just go throw this grenade. Well, I'm gonna just throw the grenade to hit both of them. Um, so that's easy. Throwing grenade. <laughs> Goodbye. That was too easy. I'm not sure where the. Oh, there we go. Now the blue field's showing up. Heading to that location. Sometimes that will happen. Just like with the with the cuss words, I have no control over it. I don't know when it will happen. Roger, and tracking. I'm not sure how I can fix it. Aye, aye, Commander. Commander. By the way, sorry about me not talking much. I'm not a talker. I know I have said this multiple times, but I'm not much of a I'm rolling. Talker. Headed there now. There's what something out there. Means, there's aliens that can Heading to that location. Enemies in sight. Oh, there you go, this door. Uh, these guys are smart. Watch they the split flanks. up. They're moving! They got me flanked! <laughs> Sorry. By the way, that red shield right there means if the soldier moves there, aye, he's aye, going Commander. to be flanked, increasing the enemy's chance of hitting, of successfully hitting him, and increasing the critical chance. Soldier has a green shield, I mean yellow shield like that, it means they are her flanked. I affirmative. Which, I already told you what that means. Of hitting that one, You're gonna use your pistol because that thing's got infinite ammo, so I don't have to reload it. And if, as long as it hits, since the target's only got one health, it's going to kill. Thing no you way missed. that just happened. On the move. Well, Mr. Sectoid. Okay, yellow head means they're f the enemy is f this way. Flanked enemies are the same as flanked soldiers. Only well, instead of them getting the boost to aim, I get the boost. Heading to that location. there now it's actually best to try to flank an enemy but I'm pretty sure this is the only, the last one so I'm just gonna nade him eat this good work out there strike one if I may commander the labs are on high alert teams are standing by for your orders we can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately by the way, if you if any of you guys know how to get a screen recorder on my computer, 
then please comment it down below. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. basically improve them. If a rookie gets promoted, they get assigned a random class. Each promotion provides different abilities. That guy was assault, so he gains the ability to run and gun. He can move twice and still shoot or go. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Be quiet. I am trying to talk to the viewers. Gosh, some games. This guy is now a heavy class, giving them a rocket launcher and the ability fire rocket. That thing costs two actions, so it will end the turn, and you can only do it at the start. But it it does six damage, ninety percent chance to hit, and then support class. Yes, these guys have a, this guy has a, the ability smoke grenade. He throws me. It's kind of obvious what that does. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Right. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Yes, please research meld. I agree, that does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. We want to learn about something humanity has never seen before? Yep, just eight days. That's all it takes. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. That guy is Shin. Not sure if it, I thought he would say his name, but his name is Shin. He's the chief engineer. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I like to make a bunch of med kits. Right. This will let me skip time. So, let's go ahead and skip time and wait. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Let's see. Yeah. The way this panic system works, if a country reaches full panic, then at the end of the month, they might leave the XCOM project. Too many countries leave, and we fail. I can only do one of these missions. Let's see which one would have the best benefit. I think in a double wheel. Oh yeah, and if we leave, if a country leaves, then obviously I can't get the continent bonus because I have to put a satellite over every single country on a colony continent well every sorta every single country that it, that the game marks so basically for if i wanted the, the North american continent bonus i would need to put satellite over the u.s canada and mexico 
if I wanted Africa's, I would need to put a satellite over Egypt, South Africa, and Nigeria. By the way, those continent bonuses are what you saw at the very beginning when I was picking in which continent I wanted to start in. If I wanted Europe's, I have to put a satellite in all these countries. I'm going to do this one because it gives me money as a reward, and I like money. Alright, this will let me change what my soldiers have. I prefer med kits over grenades because that lets them heal themselves. And if a soldier dies, he's dead. Or she is dead. But because I don't care about genders, I'm just going to call them all a he. Okay? Sorry if that offends someone. Oh, also, I can modify the name... Dropship has arrived. ...of soldiers, so comment down on a name you would like. If you want your, if you want it to be in the game, and most likely I will add that name. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Alien activity really continues like... to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. La 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 la. If I like your comment, then and I'll. I might put your name in, in too, so... Yeah. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. This is the running gun symbol. This is stabilize. These, that, and heal wound takes the med kit. <laughs> and you can only do it if you've got a med kit. Heal wound heals for HP. Basically, if a soldier dies, they have a chance. It's not a chance. Not definite. To bleed out. Huh. Instead of dying. Then they've got a, a few turns that you can stabilize them. Oh, crap. I meant for you to move first. Well, luckily I can just do that. It, it saves at the start of every turn, so... If I make a mistake... Heading to that location. That. Aye, aye, Commander. Hopefully I can get both mode casters this mission. Okay. Because as you saw in that little pre-video, you saw that mech guy, the one at the very right, end, Commander. who had the weird punch seat, who had the weird fist. Mel is how I get that kind of guy. He's called a mech trooper. That thing means there's Mel that direction. So, obviously, that's where I'm going to go. Good to go. That's what we're looking for. Yes, it is. Good job. That's affirmative. By the way, collecting meld is like opening doors. It doesn't cost an action, but you can't do it if you have no action. If you have no actions. Good to go. By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't use that run and gun ability, it's got a three turn cooldown, so I would prefer to wait till well, I actually need it. Heading there now. It. I'm all over it. there now.
affirmative. Rolling. By the way, I'm thinking about starting up a Minecraft series. Please. So. There's something out there. Obviously. So if you've got uh, any ideas for what kind of series it. I should do, like survival, Alien, let's object, play, you got something, over here. something like that, let me know. Headed there now. Affirmative. It's been secured. Moving out. What the hell was that? Down here. No, you're not. You're still moving. It no, just got hot watch. here. Out of the game. Shot He's down. To connect. There goes waterfall. They're repositioning on us. Hunt them down. On the move. Got it. Go and collect the note, of course. X-ray down. Not sure why they call them X-rays. Because this is the game is actually what called those creatures sectoids. I On the move. Called, if I had to name them, I would probably would have named them something like Big Heads. X-ray neutralized. Heading there now. Moving to position. Good thing I moved my soldiers away from that. Oh gosh, she's flanked. Ah, they got me flanked! Well, that's probably the last one in there, so... How about you go right next to him? Yes, Commander. And shoot him. Bye-bye. Mission accomplished. Yep. By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't use the support class soldier, if a soldier takes damage, they have to heal. Well, they have to take time to heal after that mission. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Trying to talk to the viewers. Gosh. And now we have a sniper class. That's all four classes that we can get from promotions alone. This, this ability is called Headshot. Basically, it uses a sniper rifle, which can takes two actions to fire or go into overwatch with because the makers of this game are jerks they're also really really cool though and basically it fires a shot with a sniper rifle with an increased to the critical situation chance room. of 30% Commander to the situation room. trying to talk to viewers I heard you the first time though oh yeah and it has a cooldown Right, here's a metal. 
Let me go and stop by the Situation Room because we will be in touch, Commander. It's been telling me for a while. Commander, Commander you can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. I'm recording a video. I'm recording a video. Come on. I will a second. Hold on. One second. Hold on. I'm gonna have to go. I was planning on going after the second mission anyways. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Will. Additional uplink required. Okay, basically, there's uplink facilities. Yes, and something about interceptors. I'll explain more about those next video, but I'll go in barracks, medals. We can award this, but first we get to assign a power to it. Either the soldier with it gets plus five aim against enemies in full cover, or he gets plus five defense while he's in cover. I'm going to let you guys pick it in the comments. But other than that, I'm ending the video here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.